Alright, now we're down to, uh, sharp sticks. Where is it? Ah! Oh! <laughs> I'm nailing up with the sharp sticks. Hey guys and gals, welcome back to Stranded Deep. We're picking up just about where we left off here at the end of the last episode here on the home island in the Tiki Hut, safe and sound. What a beautiful night. Look at this. It's gorgeous out. Let's check the uh, check the temps and the time and everything. It's almost midnight, 11th of June, 21 days survived, but hold on a sec. Wait for it. Wait for it. 22 days survive! Yay! <laughs> 84 degrees out tonight. It's so warm. What a beautiful night. Vitals are looking fantastic. How you doing, Jill and Gil? And we have a new friend here, Betty the Bat, just stretched out here, catching some uh, nice warm ocean breezes off the ocean, of course, and then Batty over here. We had to get Batty a friend, so that we, sn we snatched up uh, old Betty here. And Mini Ladon hanging on the wall, giving us that poop eating grin, which I'm not really liking, to be perfectly honest. What do you know that we don't know, huh? I think Mini Ladon here needs some friends, too. I think it's time to go out and hunt one of the big old aquatic beasties out there and stick its face up on the wall with Mini Ladon. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. So let's go get prepared for that. Of course, that means going out and getting in a fight with something big and nasty and bitey. And in order to do that, we got to go to one of those towers, right? Yeah, there's a tower over there. We've already done that mission, I'm pretty sure. That's the um, that's where we got the Mini Ladon mission. And we're going to have to go find another tower. But before we can do that, we got to gas up. we got two potatoes here. And we're going to get that fire started. There we go. Grab the Zippo. And we need gas. Now, there is a bug right now, apparently, with this ex uh, experimental version of Stranded Deep, which uh, apparently um, fuel evaporates in jerry cans and in boat motors. And yes, indeed, I did lose the, the gas that we had in Reggie's boat motor. It's gone. I know for a fact we had poured a bunch of gas in there at the end of the last episode, and now it is gone. So hopefully that gets fixed up pretty quick. But fortunately here, we got a couple of extra potatoes, and we're going to be able to make at least a half tank of gas, and that'll get us to one of those towers. We can't go to that one because we already got that mission. At least I think I think you can only get one mission from a tower. We'll check it anyway, and then uh, if we have to go to a different tower, we will. But that's the only one around the island. I actually took a look, at least the only one that's visible from the island. But uh, we'll go out today and try to find the next big old beastie because we need to unlock the uh the gyrocopters right we gotta unlock the gyrocopter and uh we gotta make the gyrocopter to get out of here and in order to do that we have to find the, the parts for the gyrocopter engine um and apparently you can now find the parts in rex that's something new that was added in the latest patch and you also get parts for um oh gosh it got dark suddenly uh you can get parts from killing the the bosses as a reward but unfortunately we did not get a part when we killed the mini ladon because that was not implemented then <laughs> so i don't know what's going to happen there we might have to go and fight another big old shark we'll see but for right now tonight while we still have some darkness here we're going to work through the night and we're going to make up a whole bunch of shooty things let's grab some lashings um, we're gonna make arrows for our spear gun, which requires lashings and wood sticks. So let's make a whole bunch of these. I'm thinking minimum a dozen and maybe even more. We'll see. Depending on supplies. And we need to make bandages too. Alright, got 15 spear gun arrows total. I think that should be enough. Oh, and one in the spear gun right now, so that's a total of 16. That should be plenty. And I think we're going to make up a couple of bandages here as well, which we do here on the loom. So let's pick up the cloth. I have some bandages in my junk, my drunk drawer. <laughs> in my junk drawer. In the junk drawer, right. Junk drawer, not the drunk drawer, which is right here. Let's grab those. So that's going to give us six bandages, 16 arrows, three crude spears, and I actually might even make a couple more crudes. So when we run out of arrows, we can just poke the darn thing, right? And 
And I think we're good. Let's drop those extra sticks. And let's go check on the gas. Because it looks like the sun's coming up. Almost 6 a.m. Getting nervous here. Getting pre-fight jitters. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Kill that fire. It looks like the mash has been cooked up. Wait a minute. That does not look like half, does it? Oh, dear. What happened? Yeah, it looks like we got a little bit of evaporation already. <laughs> it should be half full, don't you think? I think so. But we're not going to put it in the jerry can yet because, again, the jerry can seems to be bugged. So what we're going to do is get completely ready. I guess we're done with that now. And then we're going to go. I just need to get fed and hydrated and all that fun stuff. And then we're going to head out. Okay, I'm um, just doing my uh, my Karate Kid balancing act here. The seagull crane kick, whatever it is. Yeah, getting ready for the big fight. Watching the sunrise. All right, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. You know what, let's just make sure we have enough space for everything. I'm gonna drop that. I don't think we're gonna need it. We're always gonna bring the ax just in case we have to go to an island and do some work. We're gonna bring the torch just in case we get stuck out there overnight. Hopefully we won't but you never know, and the gas is still here. All right, here we go. Let's grab the gas and transfer it to the motor. Fill her up. Okay, well, that's half. That's half full or half empty, depending on how you look at it, I guess. And we'll put that gas can away. Oh, we should grab a, uh, a compass just in case we get lost and turned around and all that. But we're going to be heading toward that island right there, which is like... 230 degrees, right? So remember that heading, okay? And now away we go. Should we bring the crates? I guess it doesn't hurt because we might actually stop at an island on the way back if we can and we have time. Oh, you know what? We should bring the refined spear. So if we run out of these spear gun arrows, oh gosh, how about we grab the spear gun? <laughs> Holy smokes, can you imagine getting all the way there without my spear gun? Should we bring the label maker and label them too? Nah, we got enough labels. In this world, we don't need any more labels. Uh, okay, yeah, so when we run out of those spear gun arrows, we can poke them with our sharp sticks, and we'll have that nice refined spear to, uh, to polish them off, right? Because I don't know if 15 arrows is going to be enough. Probably not. All right, one last thing. Double check. I think we're good, and yeah, let's do it. Start up that engine, and away we go. Now, we should have enough fuel to get us to uh, two hops and back again. It's one potato. We'll get you one island hop and back. At least according to the devlog notes. So hopefully we don't have to go too far if this mission has not been reset. Oh, there's another one right there. There's a tower right there. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, great. So even if this one hasn't been reset, then we'll just go right over to that one. Fantastic. What luck. I think fortune smiles upon us today. <laughs> Aquatic beasties beware. All right, kill that engine. Save on the fuel. <laughs> oh, that wasn't really much of a jump. Okay, I missed. Come on, come on, latch onto the ladder, man. Oh, <laughs> it's slippery. Come on, there we go. <sighs> That's as fast as I can go up ladders. Wow, slowest ladder climber ever. All right, latch onto that one. And it gets really creepy here. We got all kinds of weird sounds and banging and knocking. It's an old, old tower. Apparently used in World War II. And where is the mission place? I think I went the wrong way. Uh, what? Do I have to go up one more? I guess I gotta go up one more. Oh, okay, yeah, here we go. That goes to the top. And there should be a room here. Here we go. Mission. Oh, dang it. No mission. All right. That means we have to go to the next tower. Let's save it here. And let's move on to the next tower. What time is it, by the way? Oh, not even 10 o'clock in the morning. We have plenty of time to kill a big aquatic beastie. Whee. Oh, you know what? I should have brought, I should have brought the breath boost. Dang it. Yeah, that probably could have helped if we have to go underwater. I have no idea what we're going to be fighting here. And whether or not we have to dive. Uh, where was that other tower? I could have sworn there was a tower here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Seas are getting rough. It's right there. There it is. Okay. Plenty of gas to get there and get back home. Hopefully with a trophy. It's 
So when we kill this guy, if we kill this guy, we're gonna end up with some kind of a reward. A piece of the gyrocopter. That's how it works now. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Reggie, stop. Reggie, stop. Uh, this crate is about to fall off. Okay, there we go. Not gonna lie. I'm getting butterflies here. Pre-fight jitters. Just like in the old days before my wrestling matches. <laughs> Nervous energy. But it's gonna be great. I mean, we got the perfect day for it. I mean, look at this. Sun up in the sky. Oh, by the way, I wonder how the UV rays are right now. I didn't even think about that. I wouldn't want to fight a giant aquatic beastie with a sunburn. All right, this is close enough. It's like plenty of gas to make two hops. Basically back home. And up we go. Let's go grab a mission. Hopefully we get one here. And then it's going to be Clash of the Titans, baby. Well, one titan and one little guy. I'm, I'm not really sure what else there is. I know there's like a kraken to fight. And there's one other beastie, but I don't know what it is. So maybe we'll get a nice surprise today. Oh, there we go. E to interact. Okay, wait a minute. I'm going to save it here. Saved. And then we'll grab this mission. The Great Abaia. <laughs> there are rumors of a giant creature protecting the surrounding waters. Kill the creature to complete this objective. It's an eel. It's a giant eel, but we'll get a one gyrocopter part. Hold return to start. Okay, a giant eel. Fantastic, let's go do it. It's just like a worm, right? Just a little worm. I'm not afraid of no stinking worm. Can we just jump out here? Oh, hold on, that's a long way down. Okay, we don't want to do that. The last thing we need right now is a broken leg. Ooh, what's that? Was that my head? That might have been my head. Here we go, we're jumping out here. Let's go find this thing. Get this done. Get our new trophy. And bring it on home. All right, Reg. Let's go find us a big old wormy. Where the heck is it? Oh, oh, right there. The spike sticking out of the water. Yeah, that's got to be it. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's anything to stand on. <laughs> like we had when we fought the shark. Not that it matters, because I have a feeling this thing's going to be able to leap out of the water and snatch you up anyway. A shark has some kind of uh, flying ability. It was insane. All right. This is the place. It is a ship. So that's cool. Uh, wow, my hands are like totally full here. I guess it won't matter. Let's get the spear gun out. And I think we have to, um, I think we have to go down there and wake him up. Okay, here we go. On three, two, one. <gasps> oh, wow. It's an old battleship, a cruiser, something. Whoa, hi! Holy smokes, it's a giant moray eel. Holy cow. Okay. Yeah, that's a big one. That's not a little worm. He's coming right at us. Ah! Ow! Oh, he got me. Shoot him. Ooh. That's your eye for an eye, chief. Oh, yeah. Get wrecked. Oh, man, he is a toughie. How many times have to shoot this guy? <laughs> All right, now we gotta get some air. We gotta get our, uh... Oh, jeez, I'm bleeding. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, let's stop the bleeding. Oh, that was it? Okay, stop the bleeding. And how many arrows did we put in them? Like 10? Holy cow. All right, we gotta get some of those arrows back. Ow! Dang it! Oh, and I can't shoot him, because... All right, grab some of those. <laughs> Give me some of those arrows back, you jerk. Holy cow, this guy's tough. He's not even at half, down half. All right, let's get up here. Holy smokes. Yes, uh, ow! Oh, grab some, grab some, grab some of those. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm all out. I'm all out. Oh, don't run out of oxygen. That would be super embarrassing if we get all the way out here, fight this guy, and then die of a uh, whole drowning. All right, apply a bandage. And is that full strength? No, it's not. All right, but I don't want to put another one on just yet. All right, now we're down to uh, sharp sticks. Where is he? Ah! Oh! <laughs> I'm nailing him with the sharp sticks. That's right, you jerk. Oh, come back here. Give me some of those arrows back. Holy cow. He's only down to half health? 
Oh, man, I think we bit off more than we can chew here, folks. I think we're in trouble. I think we're in trouble. Okay, now I can't throw any more at him. I just have to stab him. But maybe I can grab some of those things. Oh, yep. All right, I'm grabbing some arrows while I'm stabbing. Ah, oh, 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 I'm bleeding. Oh, 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 I'm bleeding. Oh, oh, oh. Holy cow. All right, I think I grabbed some arrows. Did I? No, maybe I didn't. Dang it. He, he swims by too fast. Ow! Ooh, hide. Oh, yeah, we got him down. We got him down now. Oh, gosh. I don't think I'm hitting him. Grab some of those arrows, please. Oh, I got one. I got one. And I'm poking him. Grabbing arrows and poking at the same time. I don't think I'm hitting him, though. Better get some oxygen. Okay. Uh, I gotta, I gotta heal up. I'm bleeding again. Uh-oh, here he comes. Ow! Yep, that hurts. Grab that spear. I think I might have got a couple arrows. Oh my gosh. This guy's insane. Down to the last bandage. Oh, we have arrows. We have arrows. Oh, there's a spear right there. I missed with that one. Where'd he go? This this reminds me of... Ah! Reminds me of the uh, movie... Hey, you leave Reggie alone. Reminds me of the movie... Was it The Deep? Yeah, The Deep. Um, oh, gosh. Get this. Yeah, if we bleed one more time, it's over. It's Clayton's. <laughs> oh, no, here he comes. Oh, I'm picking stuff up, I think. We're going to get him. We're going to get him, but that's it for the bandages. We're going to kill this guy. Come on. Come on. A couple more hits. Oh, watch out for the lionfish. If a lionfish kills me now, that's going to be really embarrassing. Get him. Oh, dang it. He went down deep. No! Oh no! Get him! Come on, we can do this! We got him! We got him! Get to the surface, I need oxygen! Ah, holy cow! We did it! Objective completed! We got an eel trophy and a gyrocopter part! But I think I'm gonna bleed to death! <laughs> oh no, I don't have any more bandages! Uh, Reggie! Get me home! Quick! Okay, let's go. There's another tower. We gotta get home and whip up a bandage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, Reggie. I know. I'm in a rush, too, but let's try not to capsize here, all right? I don't know. I think I'm gonna bleed out before we get there, guys. I only have one nub of health left. I don't know how fast you bleed out in this game. But it's not looking good. Whoa, whoa. Easy, easy, Reggie. We capsize. It's curtains, pal. I'm driving erratically. Oh, no. I heard a beep. I don't know what that beep meant. I'm still alive. So, I guess it can't be that bad. Uh, I'm afraid to look down at BP to find out what that's all about. I'm not, I can't raise my arm now anyway, so. <laughs> Uh-oh, I lost a crate. <laughs> it's okay. It was empty anyway. All right, we got to get to this tower and then head 50. Yeah, I know. I'm beeping. I'm beeping badly. BP wants me to look down at him, but I'm not doing it. I have a feeling as soon as I get off this boat, it's Clayton's. Oh, there goes my other crate. I guess we shouldn't have brought the crates. Uh, 50. That's our island right here. Oh, no. That's the third beep. Third beep in a minute. I have a feeling it's over, guys. Is this my island? I can't tell. Yeah, yeah, quit your beeping, BP. I hear you. Yeah, yeah, there's the there's the there's the hut. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. I know, Reg, I know. Pull up quick. Go. Drop that. Don't need it. Do I have I have one lashing. We need oh gosh. We need some stuff. Give me that. I'm gonna make a bandage. I need, uh, oh, <laughs> I know, I hear it. Oh, young Audrey. I need fibrous leaves. I don't know how many we have here on the island. Come on, one more fibrous leaf. Got it. Where'd it go? Thank you. Okay. Come on. Bandage me. Lashing? I made a lashing. I don't need a lashing. 
I need cloth, you big dummy. Ugh. All right, well, let's go find some more. Fibers leaves. Seems like we're hanging on by a thread here. I don't know. Maybe there is no emergency. Maybe you can't just keel over and die. Oh, no. Now the sun's gone down. Oh, by the way, I have that gyrocopter part in my inventory. Did you see it? <laughs> I saw it very briefly. Hey, Krabby Patty, how's it going? I killed the giant eel. I don't know. I seem to be bleeding all over the place, but I'm still running. My heart's pumping, and I'm alive. So I wonder if you can't even bleed out. I don't know. All right, I saw that. We'll come back for that later. I just need... Here we go. Here we go. The palm tree. Pick it up. All right, back to the loam. Go to consumables and make a cloth. Wait, how do we make a cloth? Oh, gosh. Cloth. Yes, cloth. Now consumables. Okay, we got the bandage. Here we go. Apply it. Woohoo! We did it. We made it. We made it. We're alive. Oh, Mini Ladon, we have a friend for you, my, my friend. Uh, I don't want that. Where is my trophy? Um, wait a minute. How do we get the trophy again? I think we go to story. Story. There we go. Yeah! Here it is! Okay. Drop it. No, don't drop it. We need to make a hook. We need to make a hook. How do you make a hook? Where is the hook? Right there. Oh, sticks. Two sticks. Okay. One, two. Hook. All right, let's put the hook right here by the bed. Monk, and where's my trophy at? Wait, are you kidding me? Oh, there it is. Big question mark. All right, E to attach. Boom! <laughs> wow! Yeah, his head shrunk too, just like Mini Ladon's did. He was way bigger than that. I'm telling you guys, he was way bigger than that. He was a monster. Okay, nobody believes me. Fine, whatever. I got the scars to show it, though. So now we got to give him a name. Is that my blood or his blood? I think I think a lot of that is mine. Well, let's go drink. Let's eat. Let's make merry. And then I'm going to go to bed. And then I'm going to go to bed. Whew. That was nuts. I didn't think we were going to make it. And we'll grab some uh, chicken nuggets here. Oh, there's only one left. Oh, no, there's another one there. Okay. Grab it. Oh, yeah. And now we should slowly heal back up. Now that we have full belly and fully hydrated. Eh. Oh, wait. Maybe I have to go to sleep first. Yeah. I think we have to be rested as well. Let's do it. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed right now. Close the door. Save it. And it's a nice early night. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of sleep tonight. All right, here we go. Good night. See you in the morning. <coughs> wow. I slept like a baby. Woke up at 6 o'clock sharp. It's the 13th of June, 23... Hey, beep -y. 13th of June, 23 days survived. And I'm feeling pretty good. Yep, health is coming back very slowly. We got our new uh, new eel trophy here, and we need to name our eel trophy. So that's a moray eel, right? Pretty sure that's a moray eel. Like I said, like the one that was in the movie The Deep, which goes back to like, is that the 80s? Early 80s or late 70s or something. Uh, yeah, we're going to call you Lil Mori. <laughs> He's actually pretty big for a moray eel, but he's Lil for the great... Uh, bye, yeah, 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 whatever the heck it was called. Oh, by the way, let's take a look at that part. Yeah, gyrocopter part. Holy smokes, this thing's amazing. Gyrocopter vehicle part. Looks like a chair. <laughs> I think that's the pilot seat. Yeah, looks like it's uh, a homemade gyrocopter pilot seat. That is precisely what it is. And we need to put this somewhere safe for safekeeping. There we go. Gyrocopter parts. Okay, then. What time is it right now? Oh, super early. UV is very high. Oh, gosh. I'm going to get inside. I don't want to get a sunburn or heat stroke today because I don't have any more aloe. 
Salve. But yeah, I think we're just going to call it quits right here. I'm going to sit inside my tiki hut where it's nice and shady and admire a little Mori here. He's a beaut. You're the best, Mori. And now you got a frat, Minnie. Okay, you and Lil Mori can hang out and, uh, you know, hang out, chat. <laughs> Whatever big aquatic beasties do, I don't know. Think of something other than eat people because I, I think those days are over. All right, with that, my friends, we're going to call it quits. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.